Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the text tool. So as the name suggests, you can actually create text in Alias. Now, this is very convenient if you have a certain logo, such as Jeep, that, uh, that consists of letters, or you can also make, let's say, there's a toy with uh, warning labels that needs to be debossed or embossed. You can actually use the text tool to uh, include, to create all of those features. So the text tool is located on the curves and the text tool is located right here. So you can just click on the tool and click anywhere on the modeling space like this modeling window. And you'll get a, when you click, you'll get a little triangle and you can type. So let's say you want to type something. So I'm just going to say 3d design academy.com. You can do that. Now you, uh, within the text tool, there are various options. So let's say you want to change the font, you can. You can also change the size too. And if there's a particular uh, style that you want, you can do that too. So I believe all the text that is, uh, or the, all the fonts that is available, available in your computer, uh, you can use. So let's say, I don't know if I have a font that I installed. I think I might have, let's see, yes. I, I believe this is a font that I downloaded. So let's say you want to use this. I can also type it. So I'm gonna say 3D design academy.com like this. Now you can also change. So let me just change the size. So, so let's say instead of 24, let me just do 10 and I'll do italic. So I'm going to type again, 3D design academy.com like this. And you can even use uh, some of the more exotic fonts. Well, I don't know if it's technical or font, but let's say you want to use web thing. Uh, these are basically symbols. You can also do that. And actually, let me just make this a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to type here and I'm just going to put a bunch of random letters and you'll see that it is actually all translated into nerve curves. So if you look at the CV structure, you can see that it's uh, made out of uh, several different cur uh, curves uh, depending on what kind of letter it is. But because it is curves, it's actually really easy to use if you want to make a um, actual shape or you want to just do a graphic breakup by just doing a trim divide. Now, one thing that you want to make uh, be a little bit sure is that depending on the letter and depending on the complexity of the letter, um, for example, this S, you'll notice that it is made of several different curves and it is actually quite segmented. So you just want to be careful and depending on the situation, you might actually want to clean up the curves a little bit uh, because it might give you a little bit more surface than you might want, especially for this S. Let's say I want to do a draft surface using this letter S like this. While you have the shape, the only problem is because it is quite segmented in especially uh, areas like this, you might uh, you might not have as easy of a time when modeling. So this, uh, these are some of the, uh, just some of the things that you might want to take into consideration when you're using the text tool. But besides that, um, it is a very useful tool, especially if you want to actually make a physical lettering. Um, like I said, like uh, if you want to emboss it or deboss it, you can utilize tool, uh, utilize this tool in order to create them. And that's a text tool. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.